Hello, this is Melissa the Stamp Dog, and today I'm going to share with you a very easy technique for creating a mirror image of just about any stamp that you may already own. I'm using the Hey Love Clean Mount Stamp Set from the Occasions 2019 catalog, specifically this little otter image, but I will show you some of the other images as a mirror image later as well. You're going to need for this technique a memento black ink pad as well as the stamparatus. So I'm going to show you how I have my stamparatus set up. So on this top layer is a silicone craft mat. You can get these from Stampin' Up! and I suggest you keep a clean one just for this technique. Then I'm using a little bit of our grid paper and those are available for purchase a magnet pad from Stampin' Storage, and I will include the link for that in my description, as well as the foam mat that comes with the Stamparatus. So I'm just going to layer all of those together. You really don't need the grid paper, but I've been using it a lot for most of my projects lately. I'm going to place all of those back in the Stamparatus, and because this is a clean mount stamp, I'm going to show you that you'll need to pick it up very carefully. Just kind of stick your finger underneath there. They're very sticky, um, which means they're great for adhering to the Stamparatus or your acrylic blocks. So I'm going to place that in the middle and just where I want it to stamp and I'm going to push down on that. That's going to cling that to the little plate and we're going to ink that up with the black memento ink. So I wanna get a nice coating of ink on there before I stamp it over onto that silicone craft mat. So we're just gonna flip that over, push it down, and you'll see that that image transfers right over to that. Now, if you notice any spots that didn't catch, don't worry about that, just stamp it again and usually I do two on this technique just to be safe anyway. So I'm gonna get a nice impression there. Then I need to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna place it over the image and I'm just going to gently rub over that to transfer the image. So you wanna just make sure that you hit all those edges and that that's being stamped on there. And you'll notice you have a perfectly transferred little otter. So I do keep a baby wipe nearby so that I can clean my mat quickly and also my stamp and that makes this technique go even smoother. So again, I'm putting my fingernail underneath the clean stamp, just tidying up a few little edges there and I'm going to stamp the other otter right next to that one. So the Stamparatus makes it very easy for me to see exactly where I'm going to put that. So I just line that up where I want it Again, the rubber side is down. Then we're going to flip that over so it catches that cling again. And we're going to ink that up. And this time we generally only need to do it once unless we miss a spot. So we're just gonna ink it up really good, flip that over, give it a nice little push down. And then we are going to have our two little otters swimming together. Isn't that sweet? Now there's a lot of other little critters from that Hey Love stamp set. So I wanted to try doing the mirror image stamping with some of those other ones. These are a lot of fun. And I cut all of these out with the rectangle stitch shape, uh, stitch framelits. There's the little beavers. I think that's what they are. We've got our little birds. There's our skunks blowing hearts at each other and our little alligators. So I'll be putting those on a finished card, but for now, here is my otter finish card. So in addition on this, I used the Stampin' Blends to color in the otters, soft suede, balmy blue, and flirty flamingo. I used the Be Mine stitched framelits dies. That's all the hearts that you see on there. And then I use the All My Love Designer Series paper as the background. You can find a list of all of the supplies on my blog or in the description below. Thanks for watching.